I'm from England. Ich bin Christine und komme aus Deutschland. Buriana und Makedonia. Aus Iran, Madam. Ich bin Alia, aus Jungkur. Mein Name ist Prasadiada, ich bin Nepali. The Max Planck Institute of Molecular Plant Physiology, in only a few years, driven by groundbreaking approaches to research, cutting edge lab technology and dedicated scientists, the Institute has established itself at the cutting edge of plant research. Here, world leading scientists analyze basic processes that determine plant growth, crop yield, and the production of biomass. Mich treibt äh, in meinem Beruf die Neugier an. Ich ähm, will neue Sachen rausfinden und ähm, möglicherweise auch nur ganz kleine Sachen rausfinden. Die größte Belohnung ist eigentlich, wenn man etwas herausgefunden hat, wo man in dem Moment weiß, das weiß jetzt nur ich und sonst niemand. Ich fand das schön, dass man so ein bisschen im Unbekannten gräbt und, und wühlt, so ein bisschen im Dunkeln und versucht, irgendwie so Licht reinzubringen in, 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 in Dinge, die man vielleicht vorher nicht gesehen hat. The Max Planck Institute of Molecular Plant Physiology is part of the Science Park, located in Potsdam Golm. In the immediate vicinity are two more Max Planck Institutes, two Fraunhofer Institutes, the Golm Innovation Center and part of the University of Potsdam. The Max Planck Institute started out in 1994 with 16 employees. Today, it offers work to more than 400 people, including about 250 scientists and 100 technicians. Our institute studies molecular plant physiology. That is how plants function. We call it molecular because we don't just want to describe what a plant does, but we want to understand it in terms of genes, of proteins, and in terms of physical and chemical processes. Here, the scientists do not restrict themselves to studying the various individual processes in a plant. They also want to know how these different processes interact in the organism. This holistic approach is called systems biology. They therefore carry out many experiments and measurements an approach that is assisted by robots. We want to understand plants because they are important. They are the only organisms which use the energy from the sun to make living matter. And they are the basis of all of our ecosystems, they are the basis of all of our food, and they deliver directly or indirectly most of our energy. Many scientific findings are made using an inconspicuous little weed. Arabidopsis taliana, commonly called the tail cress. Its entire genome was decoded 10 years ago, and this data has already helped to solve some of modern biology's puzzles. Mit Pflanzen kann man sehr viel anstellen, es ist ein einfacher Modellorganismus. So viele verschiedene Arten, die an so viele verschiedene Umweltbedingungen angepasst sind und sie haben einfach so unglaublich viele verschiedene Inhaltsstoffe. Ich mache jetzt nicht Pflanzen nur im Rahmen und es bleibt bei Pflanzen, sondern Pflanzenaspekte werden auch relevant für medizinische Aspekte, für äh, mikrobiologische Aspekte und so weiter. The scientists at the Max Planck Institute of Molecular Plant Physiology perform fundamental research. However, many of the results can be applied, for example in modern plant breeding. The Institute's researchers have set up some successful companies. Nevertheless, the primary goal remains to gain knowledge. To quote Max Planck, knowledge precedes application. We use three main approaches. One is we change the conditions, for example, the light or the temperature, and we look how the plant responds. The second is we use gene technology. That means we alter the activity of single genes and look what effect that has. That's how we learn what a gene does. Third, we use natural genetic diversity. This allows us to understand how hundreds and thousands of changes interact within a plant. We analyze the plants with a very large number of methods which allow us to detect changes in thousands of different parameters. Then to interpret the data sets, of course, we need to use mathematics, bioinformatics and modeling. Large databases are generated, for example, by analyses of plant composition or in studies of the functions and interactions of large numbers of genes. These huge data sets are evaluated by many bioinformaticians and modelers who work at the institute. Also ein guter Forscher zeichnet aus, dass er viel Engagement zeigt und dass er sehr innovativ ist. Das ist er nie, ähm die Lust am Experimentieren verliert, nie, nie die, die Neugier verliert. 
und halt auch so eine Bereitschaft, glaube ich, ewig äh, und immer dazu lernen zu wollen. Numerous leisure time facilities, including tabletop football and also cricket and volleyball, are used by staff members. This keeps up the motivation and tightens the bonds of the international researchers' community. Commitment and energy will continue to drive outstanding research at the Max Planck Institute of Molecular Plant Physiology. See you soon at the Max Planck Institute of Molecular Plant Physiology.